Oh yeah, there's something I didn't tell you. Few weeks ago, I rented out my car on Turo and I made some money on it. And I forgot to make a video about it. So here it is. I know, I know, usually I make videos about dropshipping, specifically Facebook and eBay, but sometimes I do try all the side hassles as well and I share my experience right here and this is one of those videos. And today is a Turo video, so I wanna show you how much I made, what I did to get the listings, what is the process, is it really easy to start or hard, my thoughts about it because I have some thoughts about Turo and the mistakes I made because there are a couple big mistakes that I did on Turo and some of them are pretty major especially if you are a Turo host you're probably gonna be like oh my god what is this guy doing so you can learn from my experience and if you want to try Turo you will know what not to do and don't worry I'm still a dropshipping YouTube channel this is not going away and speaking of dropshipping I'm running a 40% discount right now on my dropshipping course and the community if you want to check it out go ahead and go to dropshippingyield.com and they use a coupon code black to get the 40% off but let's get to our video all right let's start with the very basics what it's Turo okay Turo is basically an app that you can download on your phone and you can rent a car from regular people so let's say you go to a different city for a few days, okay, just to visit and travel or something, you're on vacation and you need a car. A lot of people usually go to like Hertz or like, you know, private companies that actually specialize in this, but there are also small business owners and just regular people that they just want to rent out their car and get some money. It's kind of like Airbnb. Think about it as Airbnb, okay? That's what tour is. It's pretty cool. I usually use Tura when I'm traveling, so it's a pretty neat app. Sometimes you get cars slightly cheaper than when you go to like a regular car rental dealership. And if you wanna become a host, which is the person that rents out the car, you can do it very easily. All you have to do is just sign up. There's few questions that you need to fill out. You need to put your VIN number that you can find on your car registration. And they need this type of information to verify, you know, if there's any problems with the car, if you are the owner and stuff like that. It's pretty easy to do. And once you do it, you can literally just start putting your car out there and get the booking. And I was able to do this within a few hours. It's pretty simple process. And the car I rented out is a Honda Civic from 2018. So it's not like a luxury car. It's more like an economical car, which by the way, are doing very fine on tour right now, just because it looks like the cars that are very popular during this hard time, during like potential recession, are cars that are gas efficient, just because the gas is very expensive. And I've seen this discussion on Turo forums and Turo Facebook groups that the cars that are renting right now, they are these like Honda Civic, Priuses, cars basically that have low mileages and people can save up on gas. If you have an exotic car, apparently it's kind of harder right now, but to be honest with you, I'm not a Turo expert. It's hard for me to say, but from the research I did, it seems like the more economical cars are doing better, at least now in 2022. So I live in Los Angeles, which is a pretty big market, and there's a lot of cars like mine on this market, okay? There's a lot of people that are trying to rent out their cars just like mine. So to get the first booking, what I did, I just followed the same logic that I usually do with Facebook dropshipping or eBay dropshipping, which is I made my listing stand out. And in order to do that, I knew that I need to take a cool pictures, okay? So I drive out outside LA, like this little canyon, took some pictures, make sure that the car is clean, looks good. I took the picture pictures from the outside, I took the pictures from the inside, and then I went back, put the photos on my computer, opened the Photoshop, and I kind of enhanced them a little bit. But honestly, you don't have to do that. It's something that I did, but if you just make sure that your pictures look good, that the background is nice, makes you look a little bit more outstandish, that's all you need, okay? I just want this little bit extra step and put them on Photoshop and add some filters and stuff like that. But you honestly, you don't have to do it. You can also use free tools like Canva to edit the pictures if you want to edit them as well. But you can see the pictures right here on the screen. So that's what the cards looks like on my listing and it worked. I was able to get bookings pretty fast. Within the first hour of my listing being active, I got the first booking, okay? It was funny because I was out and about doing stuff and I'm getting a notification on tour saying, hey, you got your first booking. I was like, wow, that was fast. I literally just listed an hour ago. So the first trip I got was for the four days. It was from some lady that was visiting the town. Apparently she's from LA, but she was just visiting. She sent me a full message explaining the whole situation. She was really nice. However, she canceled that trip very soon after. So even though I got this booking very fast nothing really happened okay but 
Two hours later, I got another booking and this one was longer for a whole week. It was from some girl that had just moved to town and she needed a car to move around. And this transaction went through, this booking actually happened. And I was like, wow, I literally got those bookings within like the, the last three hours. I wonder what else can happen. So I wasn't sure if I want to continue with tour. So I took out my car from the public because I, I, I didn't want to add more bookings just because I want to see the first one. I want to see how it works. So I just left this one booking with this one girl that took my car for a week. I want to see what is the experience like, okay? Also worth mentioning that this booking, she agreed to come and pick up the car because on Turo you have an option that you can either deliver the car to your customer or you can leave it at the parking lot or maybe they will come pick up to you. Depending on which option you pick, you can charge money, for example, for the delivery. If you, on a, if you are gonna go and deliver the car, you can charge money for that. You can also charge money for the drop-off at the parking lot and stuff like that. It's really cool. Usually people want to pick up the cars from the airport, but she decided to come pick up this car from my house. It was really neat because there's not much work for me. But if she ordered the drop-off, I would charge some extra money because I would deliver a car to, to the airport, for example, and I could take Uber or maybe the bus to get back home. Some people charge like $120 for the delivery and take a $5 bus back home. So there's like another hundred something dollars on top of the things that you get from the regular price. And speaking of money, let me show you the breakdown of how much I made on this transaction, okay? Okay, so this is the breakdown of this deal, okay? So she bought this car for eight days and she paid $39, $38 per day, okay? And the total she paid was $315. So I actually take a look into the pricing and I can see that the Honda Civics in LA, they go between $35 to $50 a day. And the reason being why she was charged $39.38 is because I selected the automatic pricing on Turo. That means that Turo will price my car automatically based on the current demand and stuff like that. I didn't know what I'm doing. Some people say that you should charge more. Some people say that you should have this option on. I'm not a Turo expert. I just had the Turo decide how much they should charge. And that's the that's the pricing that she got. I also offer a seven day discount, meaning if you order my car for more than seven days, you're gonna get the discount. And she got $63 off her deal. So uh, she got the car cheaper just because of that. My plan also included 2,400 miles. And this is what I make a huge mistake. So I didn't know how much I should charge for the mileage and what is the limit mileage that I should have on my car, meaning how many miles she can drive a day. Some people have like, let's say 60 miles a day. And after you reach the 60 miles, you have to pay like a dollar something per mile. I didn't have that because I didn't know how much I should charge. And honestly, I just want to get the booking so I can see how it works. So I had the very high limit of miles that you can drive a day and I didn't charge anything extra. So she didn't get charged extra for that. And I think I missed out a lot of money on that. So after all of the discounts, the amount I was supposed to get was 252. However, you have to remember that you also have to pay Turo fees and pick the Turo insurance. So I picked the Turo insurance that gives you 30, 70 split, meaning I pay Turo 30% and that covers the insurance and the Turo fees and I get 70% profit, okay? They have a bunch of different levels. Basically, you can go up as to 90% profit, meaning you get 90% and Turo gets 10. But if you go with that one, you have very low protection and your insurance is kind of bad. And then you can go as low to the like 60 or 50 percent which means to your car is like super protected you have best insurance and stuff like that i went with the 71 just because that's the one i researched that people recommend the most and it seems like it was a pretty good choice because it was covering pretty a lot and i'm gonna share my screen right now so you can see the coverage and honestly 70 percent profit i think that was fair so as long as my car is covered that's good because this is los angeles there's a lot of drivers here there's a lot of crazy people here so i want to make sure that my car is covered because accidents happens here all the time so after all of that the actual amount i got at the end of the day was 189 dollars which is crazy because if you think about it i could make 315 dollars but because of all the discounts because of all the fees i only got 189 that's how much i got a week so if i rented out my car for a whole month and a whole month has four weeks so four 
times 189 means that would make like 750 bucks and that's before any expenses meaning if you have a car payments or maybe you're leasing the car or also you have to remember that there's an actual insurance that you have to pay your car insurance not the tour car insurance your actual car insurance that you pay because you're required to pay you will have to add all these expenses up and then subtract it from the profit amount also remember that your car is going to depreciate and you're going to put more mileage on it and there's a risk of accidents and some people are very nasty and they also leave garbage and make your car dirty so you have to clean it and stuff like that so you have to remember that also those are the things that come with renting out tour my biggest mistake was not to charge for mileage and also so I feel like I should set up a higher price range because I feel like my car was the cheapest Honda Civic car on the market. So I messed up over there, but you live, you learn, right? Oh, and the whole experience was really nice. So the girl come pick up the car. She was really nice. What I had to do is I had to take pictures of her ID, confirm that that's her. I gave her all the instructions on how to use the car. And within a few minutes, she left out and she was gone for the whole week. And when she came back, she returned my car, she cleaned it. So that was really nice of her. She didn't have to do it. My car was clean. She returned it with a full tank. That's how I gave it to her. I gave her my car with a full tank. Also before the trip, before you actually do the trip, you have to take pictures. So make sure to take a picture of the full tank you have. Make sure to take a picture of all the sides and the front and the back and of any scratches if you have any. So I took the pictures of all the scratches just to ensure Tura and her that I am aware of this and you know I'm not trying to scam you or anything. And she had to do the same thing. So before the trip and after the trip, she would take the pictures and I did the same thing just to confirm that you know everything is fine. But my car was fine, everything was good, and the whole experience was pretty positive. However, I don't think I'm gonna go back to tour and rent out my car. And the biggest reason why I'm not gonna do it is because this is my only car, okay? Maybe if I have extra cars, sure, I, I would try to do tour. I sit at home all the time anyway, so, you know, going outside sometimes to meet the person and give the keys to my car, sure, why not, I could do it. But at the moment, I only have one car and I need it, especially here in LA, where it's kind of hard to commute with public transportation. So I'm not going to use my car to do that, but, but maybe in the future, I'll go back to it and try it again. It's very simple. It's very easy. As you can see, I got the listings very fast. It's a pretty straight up side hassle. If you have an extra car and you sit at home, hey, maybe do it. You just need to be aware that, you know, your car is going to depreciate it. Either you're going to put mileages on it and there's a risk of this car being salvaged because in my land in an accident or something. But overall, it's a pretty easy side hassle. I assume that monthly I could probably make like seven to nine hundred dollars. Oh, wow, price this car correctly and charge for mileage. Also remember that more luxurious car are priced higher so you can make more money with luxurious cars. The thing with the luxurious cars, you have to make sure that your market, your city you're in, these cars are actually popular over there because each market has different cars that are popular, okay? For example, LA, Miami, luxurious cars are very popular here, especially the one with the top down. So if you can take your roof down, those are really popular because it's hot here. So people want to show off and, you know, like cruise around and just be cool. But maybe if you live in the mountains, more popular car, car is going to be like a Jeep or maybe, you know, an SUV, something safe, big and protective. Basically, what I'm trying to say is research your market see what's popular and you can definitely do it. But I'm not a tour expert, so you probably shouldn't listen to me. There's a bunch of tour YouTube guys that do a very good job explaining how it works, how to do product research, how to make yourself stand out. I just wanted to share you the experience I had with Turo since I like talking about side hustle and trying new things out sometimes. But I'm still sticking to dropshipping. And as I mentioned earlier, I have a 40% off my course in community. So if you want to learn Facebook dropshipping, dropshippingguild.com is the best place to learn. If you use the coupon code BLACK as a Black Friday, you're going to get 40% off. We have weekly mentorship meetings. You have a direct access to me. I'm telling you, it's the best thing ever. But I don't want to stop you from your next YouTube video. Here's one that you can watch right now. And if you want to come back to me, just subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time, my friend. Take care.